You've got a crush, but making the first move? Not your style. You thrive on the thrill of being the object of someone else's affection. Validation? Oh, you crave it. You don't do the chasing. You're all about being chased. Sounds about right, but maybe you just haven't gotten the hang of it yet. Well, no need to fret, because here are 12 ways to guarantee you'll leave her chasing and wanting you like never before. So let's get straight to it. Number 12. First impressions do matter. Okay, so the first impression matters greatly on scoring you that date, so don't fumble it. Blabbering too much, making her feel sleepy, being boring? You don't want to do that. Don't kill the first date before even getting it. Trust us, there's nothing worse than a girl feeling alone in a conversation when she has to carry the whole load of it. We know your head is storming with feelings of glee and anxiety when talking to her, but you can't let that take the wheel. Before that storm starts acting crazy, start asking questions. Show you're interested. Fix your body language to show intrigue and interest. Be natural and maintain eye contact so she knows you're serious and that she's the center of your attention in the conversation. Many have tried to entice her, so you need to be different, different enough to pique her interest. Ask her questions, and by the end of it, make her curiosity grow on who you are. Don't let all your cards show in the first interaction. Leave room for more. Once you spark her curiosity, you'll find her coming back for more. Number 11. Be a mystery. Look, being honest, if you're an open book, the chances of her chasing you aren't very high. Girls want guys who are quiet and mysterious because that allows them to create a special bond where you can open up to just them, making them feel special. When you're an enigma, a puzzle that she can't figure out, it'll lead her up from the inside. She'll want to get close to you, to your friends, just to know what's going on in that brain of yours. We know it can be hard not telling the girl you like every single detail about yourself, but hold on to it initially. When there's an element of the unknown, you'll become more intriguing to her. And don't forget, telling her everything about yourself initially might even scare her away. So remember guys, be a puzzle she can't resist solving. Keep her guessing. Number 10. Don't linger. Women love their own space, and they love a man who isn't scared of giving that to them. Being with her all the time and hovering over everything she does screams a major red flag. It's like setting off all the fire alarms in her head. Keep it cool and give her space, or you'll end up pushing her away. Women don't want you to baby them, and you want her to chase you, so constantly being available won't really help you achieve that, will it? Stay close, but stay away. Don't be needy or desperate asking her where she is always or with whom. Give her the chance to yearn for you, to want you there. Look, initially you can be all involved in whatnot, but after a while, let go. Show her you have your own commitments to tend to. Your life doesn't revolve around hers. When this dynamic shifts, she'll be left wondering what happened and running back to you. So let the chase begin. Number nine, be a challenge. So we talked about how your mysterious allure will get her hitched on unraveling your inner and deeper thoughts and behaviors. But that's not all. You need to be a challenge. Quit making things easy for her. Don't be the needy, desperate type. Rather, make situations where she has to do the chasing. How? Well, it's simple. You need to be unattainable. Don't actively spend time finding situations to strike up a conversation with her. Let her come to you. She can get any guy she wants, but no, not you. You aren't so easily reachable. Be unattainable, and it'll leave her craving for your attention. You'll see her in your line of sight or trying to chat with your friends, all to get your attention. If your persona is of a powerful man who has his own things going on, well, guess what? Girls absolutely dig that. They want a man like that just for themselves. So remember, you have to be hard to get. Number eight. Attention to detail. Let us let you in on a secret. Women love and adore you when you pay attention to the tiny things they do. Who wouldn't? So here's what you need to do. The next time you see her, tell her how her new outfit reminds you of a book you read, or how her new haircut makes it seem like she's a different person, even when it's not really noticeable. Maybe even leave her texts saying how she's on your mind when you haven't seen her in a while. But hey, don't overdo the texting, remember, don't be excessively needy. So how does the chase begin with this? Imagine that you start picking up on tiny details of hers, details no one else really pays attention to, 
you'll be a source of constant reaffirmation and validation for her. So when you're not there, she's going to be looking for you, chasing you. Number seven, know when to hold back. Okay, you've secured yourself a date, a success, but now comes the tricky part. You need to know when to hold back. You like her and she likes you. You ask her out and she says yes, but don't let this become a cycle. Don't make it a dynamic where you're the only one reaching out. Give her the chance to miss you. Let her make the next move. And boys, hold on to your horses. When she does ask you out, play around a little. Tell her you'll check if you're free and let her know. Let there be ambiguity, but don't go refusing every date she asks you on. It'll be seen as disinterest, which will only push her away. So keep a balance. Number six, be funny, not cocky. Laughter is the key to the heart of many, there's no doubt about it. But at times, there can be quite a thin line between being funny and being cocky. Don't let your pursuit to seem funny in front of others lead you to demeanor. Sarcasm has its own place in a conversation, but you need to make sure she isn't the butt of your jokes. No woman will chase you if you joke at their expense. But if you make her gloomy days a little more brighter, trust us, you'll be on her mind whenever she's down making her want your presence around her. Number five, ask the right questions. Look, buddy, you won't be the first to ask her how many boyfriends she's had or who she likes. So don't you think she's tired of hearing those? Don't let do you have a boyfriend be your opening statement or else you're setting yourself up for failure. Don't be the guy who gets into silly details. Rather, what you can do is ask her about her favorite song maybe even sing it to her later if you've got the voice. And once you're in, don't let her blabber alone on a date or text herself. You need to show you care for her to want to try. Yes, acting slightly disinterested will trigger her want for your attention, but outdoing it will chase her away rather than make her chase you. And that's really the opposite of what we want. So keep this in clutch for your next interaction. Number four, be the one who ends a hangout. At the end of every hangout, one of you needs to end it. Let that be you. It gives you a slight edge in the situation. Say you have other commitments or need to go do something. Forgo the guilt of lying by telling her how great of a time you had. Let her know this is something you want to do again in the future. Putting the idea of future rendezvous in her mind, leaving her thinking of more. And when a woman thinks of more, she wants it to happen. So the ball's in your court. Number three. Confidence is key. Exuding confidence is as if you're a beacon of attraction. There's nothing more attractive to women than a guy who is sure of himself. When you're confident, it's easier for others to depend on you. You being so well put together acts like a column of support for them. Being insecure and nervous all the time will make you out to be insecure. And she might not take you seriously enough to want to be with you long term. So work on that inner charm you have. Number two stirring up a little jealousy. Frankly speaking, if you want her to chase you, you need to let her know she isn't the only one who wants your attention. When faced with jealousy, you'd be surprised at the lengths women can go to to get what or who they want. Don't underestimate it. So here's our advice. Don't be afraid of taking part in some healthy flirting with others. It's not like the two of you are officially together yet. And why do you have to flirt with others? Well, your flirting with others might push her to show you why she's the one for you. And to do so, a chase is surely entailed. Number one, stop chasing. You want her to chase you? Then stop chasing her. When you chase her, it signals that she has hold over you, leaving her no reason to come after you. It's that simple. Chase or be chased. You can't have both. And remember, there are already so many guys chasing and vying for her attention. You need to be different. Stand out in the crowd. Don't run to give her the attention others give. Make yours more special. Let her take the first step. Use the above steps mentioned and it'll guarantee her chasing you. So what are you waiting for? Let the chase begin. If you want more fascinating content like this, don't forget to subscribe. And oh, comment below which step you agree with most.